Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing tips and tricks for PMSing. So these are my tips and things that I like to do around that time of the month. And also just in general, if I'm feeling in a funk or just kind of bummed, which is usually that time of the month, these are kind of the things that I like to do. So starting with the first thing, herbal tea. I've always been a fan of herbal tea. I have a tea station in my studio, in my music room, but I also have tons of teas in my kitchen. One that I really like when I'm feeling overwhelmed or in a funk or that time of the month is the Stress Relief Honey Lavender Yogi Tea. I also have a custom blend that I make from a great herbal shop I visit in the San Fernando Valley. And if you follow my blog, I recently shared that and I'll have the recipe over there as well for the PMS Relief Tea. But I'll, I'll do custom blends as well if I don't find something from the store. The next thing is a light stretching routine. I am no yoga expert, but I do try to stretch. And since I work out on most days, I'd say five days a week, I try to go to a boot camp class or do an at-home workout. Um, I do stretch when I am on my period and I'm feeling uncomfortable. I try to stretch just to relieve any tension or discomfort in my lower abdomen. Right here I'm just doing a light and easy stretching routine. Ozzy is right there to support as always and it was pretty windy but it was a warm day so I decided to do this one outside. Cramps are absolutely no fun and I know they affect people to different degrees. I personally didn't start getting really bad ones until after I had my first son and I would get them but they just were never as painful and for me it just feels like the lower half of my body is throbbing. One thing that can be helpful for cramps is magnesium. Magnesium in general is uh, very relaxing to the muscles. Of course, you always want to talk to your doctor before you take a supplement internally, but you can make a magnesium lotion bar, which is believed to kind of relax the muscles when you're feeling crampy. Now, some of these products, depending on where you live, might be kind of hard to come by, um, but Amazon does sell magnesium oil. I will have the ingredients listed below. I've made several lotion bars on my channel before and basically over a double boiler I mix together ingredients. I always add essential oils once I've pulled that off and it's had a chance to cool down. And then I put that into silicone molds and you can stick it in the refrigerator, keep it at room temperature, but basically you want to allow it to harden and then you have a lotion bar. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lower abdomen for some relief of cramping. So this one is relatively easy to make. All you need is a sock, preferably a brand new one or at least a clean sock. And I'm using some rice here and I'm just gonna put some rice inside the sock. I'm gonna fill it up about three quarters of the way. Then I'm gonna add some lavender oil and I happen to have some dried lavender as well, but that's totally optional if you have it. I love dried herbs and I always have dried herbs around the house for different teas that I make and um, remedies and different things. But in this case, I'm just gonna put a little bit of dried lavender and essential oil. I'm going to tie it, and then what you can do with this is you can stick it in the microwave for about 10 to 30 seconds, depending on the wattage of your microwave. Now keep in mind, this can be a fire hazard, so you want to keep your eyes very closely on anything like this that you put in the microwave. But essentially, you're just gonna warm it up, put it on your lower abdomen, and hopefully it can relieve your cramping. Now, if you don't want to make one yourself, you can go to the drugstore and usually at the drugstore or even on Amazon, they have these like beaded heating pads that you can stick in the microwave. Same type of thing, 10 to 30 seconds. It, it'll usually say on there depending on the wattage of your microwave. Work great. And yes, heating pads are amazing when your lower abdomen is feeling like it's going to fall out. If I'm in a funk or I'm not feeling very well, I love to do a little self-care. That's what this channel is all about. So I pulled out a few stress relief products, which usually when you see anything that says stress relief, it's basically just saying it's going to be calming. So it's going to reduce redness or puffiness. It's actually true that our skin changes around this time of the month. So uh, you can try reaching for products that are more stress relief or calming based, and that'll reduce any redness or puffiness. Mm -hmm. 
So oftentimes when you're on your period, you're going to want um, really high, highly salty foods or sweet foods a lot of times. Not always, but sometimes you'll find that that's kind of what you're going for. And I like to try to plan to make something hearty and healthy. It definitely makes me feel better. And on this day, it was cold, plus I wasn't feeling good. So I decided to make a um, lentil kale soup. So I have lentils, carrots, veggie broth. I'm going to add some onions. I like to add lots and lots of lemon. Um, I like it spicy. I will personally add spice to mine after the fact because my son likes to have this. Obviously, this is a dinner for everyone, so I keep it mild. And then um, I added some rosemary from the garden. We have so much rosemary, so I'm always using it in everything. And I just stick it in a crock pot. I kept it on, and it was done by dinner. So I put it, I'd say, like mid-morning, and then it was ready to go by dinner. So obviously this recipe is really great for whenever you're in the mood for it. I love lentil kale soup. But these ingredients are actually supposed to be very beneficial for when you're on your period. So I would highly recommend having this. Plus, even if it's just a cold day or you're just feeling off, it's a really yummy recipe and it's good for you. It has lots of great ingredients. So I'm adding the chopped kale in once, like about 15 minutes before you're ready to serve, you're gonna add the kale in there. I'm gonna take the rosemary out, and then I just put it in a bowl and garnish it, and it is absolutely delicious. You should definitely try it out, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Last but certainly not least is a soothing bath. Now, I know many people do not like to take baths while they're actually on their period, but when you're PMSing and you're starting to feel the cramps coming and you're not feeling well, a nice hot bath can be really soothing. You can make your own bath salts with Epsom salt and essential oils. Peppermint and lavender are two really great ones to mix together for when you're getting ready to start your period. So I highly recommend taking a nice warm bath. Another thing that I recommend for pain and discomfort in general is looking into CBD products, CBD bath bombs. I've been talking a lot more about CBD and I share my thoughts and my knowledge about it on my blog, um, but I will also be carrying CBD products in my e-commerce shop that I'm launching at the end of this month. If you're curious and you want to know more about the shop, you can find us at pacifictime.com. Time is spelt like the herb. You can sign up for our newsletter and you will get first notifications on when we launch new products and also coupon codes. Or you can find us on Instagram at Pacific Time. We will be carrying tons of different things, but we will also have CBD products in the shop, which even if you don't purchase CBD products from us, I highly recommend looking into them because honestly, they are such a natural relief for pain and discomfort. And um, I'm excited that more and more people are becoming aware. That completes this video and some of my tips and tricks for around that time of the month or even when you're just in a funk. I hope that this video gave you some ideas and a few things that can lift your spirit and make you feel better. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in the next video.